Before we get started with the video about Michael Morbius, the vampire, the living vampire, respectfully, one can say he went through his fair share of power-ups. Morbius has his fair share of temporary power-ups, but not really. It's kind of like a permanent power-up that just kind of changes him for good. Like when Lilith, for example, yes, this Lilith, the queen of evil Lilith, mother of demons Lilith, during the Rise of the Midnight Suns comic, Michael got blessed with Lilith's blood, thanks to Lilith telling Fang to do an errand for her. You got base Morbius, then he ended up getting injected with this serum. He even got mutated. He's mutating cellular transformation, DNA alteration. Majority of his career, he's technically had this power up. Just to start off the video like this. Morbius does save people just for those that are curious about his scary looking appearance. When it comes to Michael Morbius, this right here, for example, explains it best. He was born with a rare blood disorder, seeking a cure at all costs. He accidentally inflicted strange vampiric powers upon himself, complete with an all-consuming bloodlust, like other vampires need blood, desperate to finally be healthy he struggled and experimented for years to cure his condition and his painful hunger to no avail every time he would find a breakthrough to cure his hunger it ended up being to no cost to no avail considering how smart he is this is crazy his social life suffered because of this condition being so different from everybody else despite this he spent a lot of his time reading books and gained knowledge that way and one could say he was even gifted in scientific nature he is called dr michael morbius in one of the many stories of Marvel, he was able to develop a cure for the Marvel Zombies event by using these particular rifles on this occasion, neutralized the substances to kind of cure them. Created a serum to cure She-Hulk of disease. So when I say he's smart, I literally mean he is smart by every sense of the imagination. Marvel pretty much confirms all the smart people have a thing that they specialize in. Reed is one of the top fields of radiation. Michael Morbius, perhaps the world's greatest expert in blood radiology. He worked on a cure to save the people of Spider Island in the Spider Island event when people were turning into Spider-Man. <laughs> he's a doctor for Monster Metropolis and he's a medical doctor as well. Spider Doc Octopus Invention, he's able to help out and maybe simplify it. He grew up in Greece. He had best friends. At an early age, his blood cells were dying, weakening my immune system and body to such a point even the smallest fall could almost end my life. He says, years and years throughout his adulthood trying to find a cure for this affliction. You're probably already familiar with vampires like Blade, but when it comes to the vampire hierarchy in Marvel, they're pretty freaking strong. Morbius is a little different from your typical vampire. Since his transformation is scientific and not necessarily mystical, Morbius even gives a rundown of his abilities of being a vampire and the advantages of it. He states advantages of being vampire-ish. Able to get around without needing sleep. Notice how he says vampire-ish. He says he's pretty strong. Stronger than most. Mostly impervious. But his healing has limits. Can more or less hypnotize people. Disadvantage of being vampire-ish. Uncontrollable bloodlust. It never turns off. He doesn't have the weaknesses like you think. Crosses don't phase him. He finds garlic delicious. You can't just kill Morbius with ease. He can survive crazy, harsh environments like even sunlight for three days. Even being starved while in the sunlight. He's supposedly not a true vampire. Like I said, he's unique. Not even silver is going to come. It. You can't use crosses against him. That don't work either. He can go out during daylight. It doesn't kill him. It just slows him down. There are some guy boots that say he cannot bear sunlight. There's been plenty of cases where he has survived sunlight, even for extended amount of time. So it's not like an instant ill. Morbius can technically fly by gliding on air current. Thanks to the Lilin in his blood, he is technically immortal. One can say Morbius is part demon, like he got Lilin blood. Demon offspring spawn from Lilith. Yes, this Lilith that has biblical type of origins that also exists in Marvel comics. Morbius has blood like this, which makes him immortal. He was also combined with electric shock treatment. We look at any power grid, it's pretty clear in the narrative they want Morbius or Vampire Tears to be in that Spider-Man range of strength, even in these handbooks. He's physically strong enough to break steel. It was stated that a pack of hungry werewolves cannot break these chains. Then Morbius simply breaks these chains, letting you know his strength. He has no problem fighting big creatures like this in literal physical fights or battles. Slugfest, they've even fought more than once. Showing that he's strong in what he looks like because this being is definitely bigger than him in size. When you see the size comparison between the two beings, he's a lot bulkier. The matter, he still can hang with him. In this other battle, they fought here to show they're constantly fighting each other. Monster, technically, versus monster in a battle, but you gotta respect it anyway because of the slugfest kick. Both of them showing off their strength that they can compete with one another. It just makes for an entertaining, you can see, cut them, entertaining bout. That would be dope to see animated. Long fight though, but Morbius puts in that work. One of the powers that Morbius technically has is shape-shifting. 
Like he can kind of form his body in different liquidy ways. Getting punched by a ghost rider here, for example. He hasn't used his power in a minute though. For example, slips through these small cracks in stone. Like literally on some, I'ma turn into a, a gas type of thing. He can even use this ability to kind of avoid bullets. Shape his body in a way to where it automatically avoids the projectiles. Insane. So if you punch Morbius, there's a chance that he can move out of the way of the attacks just like this. Heck, he even used this power to survive being ran over from a car. Slips through Ghost Rider's chain, like, can make his finger spikes like this. Can use his power to kind of change his appearance. Like, literally, through stuff like this, like liquid. Literally oozing an object off of him. Uzi. Strong enough to break free from this restraining device from the X-Man. Slugging it out with Spider-Man. One can make an argument that Spider-Man's webs are about as strong as Spider-Man himself. Through the years, he had no problem breaking through with his strong web, saying, I've broken these webs before and I'll do it again. He's taken on other superpower beings and slammed them through trucks. And notice how the beings they fight, they just go through these trucks and they keep on fighting like they didn't just rip through steel or nothing. Six feet of dirt was piled on top of him in a grave, but he's strong enough to bust out anyway because of raw strength. He's strong enough to push Ghost Rider through his wall. It's clear that the writers want him to be in that Spider-Man ranges when he punches Spider-Man in his many fights with him. Spider-Man even comments on it to really prove it, stating that he hits like a H-bomb, aka a hydrogen bomb. Could be an exaggeration, but the point is he Spider-Man saying that he hits really hard. Spider-Man gets hit by people like Venom all the time and stuff. So in this occasion with Spider-Man, he hit him so far where Spider-Man was sleepy, like pretty defenseless. Physically speaking venom even compliments his strength he's physically gotten fights with blade himself one of the best vampires in marvel spider-man said he hits like a hydrogen bomb made spider-man sleepy when it comes to punching him and many fights they have physically venom himself a spider-man tier on one can debatably say stronger than spider-man physically compliments and is surprised by the level of strength morbius has how are you so strong that you ko spider-man by hitting him in the shoulder without hitting him directly in the head he still knocked him out with strength get off of me his punching power can literally punch through stone wall can literally punch through a man's chest with his punching power when dr strange was possessed he evidently was able to hurt mr steven but he did mention that it's not like he's really hurting steven just for context he's fought another version of himself rip a tree like this and stab him with it through the chest the sewer wall look how much damage he's doing by tackling him causing all that damage to the surrounding area even slaughter another super vampire he can snap the neck with a punch let you know he can fight beings with his level of power and still win more vampire neck popping the ship crew get blitzed and overpowered kind of like the movie high speed blitzed them speed they even state he moves as swift as lightning. Superior Spider-Man's robots he takes on. Lifting up big stuff like that. Beings that are bulletproof. Like this being, for example, his fangs can penetrate things that are bulletproof. Just to show more occasions of his strength or power. Oops, my mistake. This being is missile proof. These metal restraints, guess who breaks out? Occasionally when he's weakened and delirious, he can still snap some man's wrist with his raw strength. Bust through thick glass windows. Wanted to show another angle of that dog on glass to show how thick the glass really was. Strong enough to manhandle a werewolf by night. This girl tried to restrain him with some ropes. Morbius says, come here. Like on some Scorpion from Mortal Kombat stuff. Get over here. Why would you try to type a vampire? It ain't work. If by some miracle you still don't believe he's superhuman, which is silly at this point, look how far he just casually throws men. You try to pick up a grown man that's 200 pounds and throw him like this. That ain't normal, buddy. And also say bye-bye to the car door. You have to have superhuman strength to break Spider-Man's webbing like tissue paper. He's physically gotten tangles with Spider-Man to your characters like Lizard, who's always fighting Spider-Man to show more proof of Morbius's ridiculous super strength. This guy even got in a tussle with the X-Man. If this isn't an impressive showing form and strength in general. I honestly don't know what he is. But he did go night night, no fighting the whole X-Men though, you know. Losing to them ain't no surprise. But if you need more proof of his strength, look at all the cases of him literally getting kicked by Spider-Man, fighting Spider-Man for extended panels multiple times, not to mention the compliment Spider-Man gave about his strength. It all adds up and makes perfect sense. This occasion as well, a different time they fought, slugfested again. He's one of those characters where I believe if Spider-Man was to not hold back, he would still be able to hang with him regardless. You know, Morbius is technically not an evil person for no reason. It's just that thirst. So it's not like he's trying to kill every superhero that he sees too. When Spider-Man was going through some bull crap himself, having a whole bunch of arms, something you probably noticed in the animated series when Spider-Man had like a whole bunch of arms like a real spider, they slugfested here, going for panel for panel. 
to show that he's always been competent to spider tier characters. Spider-Man is the same being that can lift 60 ton tanks and higher. Spider-Man even debatably has strength feats of being able to lift upwards of a thousand tons because of him supporting some of the weight of the Daily Bugle. Even if he's not lifting all of it, he was lifting a nice decent portion of it because some of the support beams were gone and a lot of the weight was shifting on the Spider-Man. Despite all of this, Morbius still is getting complimented by characters like Spider-Man and strength and even making him sleepy when it comes to raw physicals. If you don't believe me about Spider-Man strength, listen to me for a second. This is Spider-Man. Say this is a building, right? Let's say a building has a whole bunch of pillars holding it up like real buildings have stuff at the bottom holding it up obviously right but in this particular situation let's just say one of the pillars were taken away and the building itself started to shift over so all that weight that's still some of it getting supported it started shifting over to spider-man and spider-man had to support this weight that still is thousands of tons even if he is having help because the weight of a building can weigh hundreds of thousands of tons, even up to 400,000 or 500,000 tons, the weight of how much the Daily Bugle could weigh in total. Even if you want to lowball the heck out of Spider-Man and say, of course he can't lift all this because of the pillars helping him out lift it, a lot of the weight was shifting this way. Let's lowball the living snot out of him and say he lifted only 1% of 500,000 tons, which we know he had to lift at least more than 1% of it. 1% of this is still 5,000 tons. No matter how you look at it, it's still thousands of tons. Even if you're lowball and say he lifted 1,000, that's still ridiculous list and top tier vampires like Morbius have strength like these folks. Being a blade level being along with KOing Spider-Man proving that he's Spider-Man level along with Venom himself a top tier symbiote level being giving him his props and strength and surprised by Morbius strength it's definitely easy to say that Morbius can lift way over hundreds of tons I'd even say he can lift or strike with 1000 tons of force because you can strike harder than you can lift and if you can lift a thousand tons let's be real he can hit with a thousand tons of force it only makes sense. Real life fighters like Bruce Lee can't lift 600 pounds but they can strike with six hundred pounds of force that lets you know that lifting is above striking the majority of the time obviously consistently matching spider-man debatably has a thousand ton plus feet so one can say five thousand ton plus feet it just makes sense but but but, but spider-man can only lift 10 tons stated by guidebooks if you don't believe me google the weight of a tank yourself and tell me that does it weigh under 10 tons that spider-man can lift up in strength physically obviously the writers write these things and they're not doing the math on everything i care to lift just like the hundred ton class system is like a pun for class system not necessarily be taken literally meaning if there was a building right like say there's a building with all this weight on top of it morbius would have technically the striking power to go up to one of the pillars of the building and shatter it to the point where all this would collapse he can break something with his raw punches that would cause the building to collapse or lean over at least when it comes to his punching power now when it comes to power grids and stuff on the websites and stuff you can't take them as bible but when it comes to his strength plus all his evidence marvel.com showing their opinion about morbius's strength yeah, I agree you can't take these grids as Bible all the time, but based on all the stuff I already showed you and this, it just kind of makes sense for him to be on his strength level physically when it comes to vampire tears. Imagine achieving all this super strength by accident because you're trying to find a cure to a rare disease and like you accidentally become a top tier vampire tier being with venom level strength. One of the things that makes Morbius so crazy is his raw speed. Literally be speed blitzing people before they can even know what's happening. Even when they got the gun pointed at him, they can get blitzed. Like, yeah, you can see the intent of the speed. Like on this occasion, he's literally fast enough to dodge a sniper bullet when it comes to raw speed. His movement speed is so fast, even Spider-Man has a hard time tracking his movements. He even said, where'd he go? This man tried to attack Morbius. He can just evade his attacks easily. On this occasion, he just evaded gunfire completely. You can tell this is a blitz occasion. By the way, the, the background looks blurry and fuzzy. They kind of imply that they're using high speed. And he can weave around bullets. Thanks to his speed, blitz Spider-Man off a rooftop here. Dodges a projectile by the thing. Notice how Spider-Man's coming at him here. He's fast enough to easily tag and punch him, react to him. Stuff moving at Morbius at the speed of lightning. They literally state time freezes and eternity before he is crushed like letting you know that his reflexes can enhance to the point where time is pretty much slowed down this means he can react to things it's coming at him at 224,000 miles per hour as he says time freezes speed like this is a common thing in marvel where people like daredevil can react to things in microseconds spider-man can react to things that have the speed of light on their side like it's case with lasers characters with no superpowers like hawkeye have reacted to things in microseconds same with characters like Black Panther reacting to things in microseconds. Beings that don't have superpowers can do this. What do you think Morbius can do? And he'd be fighting Spider-Man, KO'd Spider-Man and matching him in speed, reacting to his blitz, blitzing Spider-Man, etc. This is a common thing for super soldier tiers. And I would say we all can agree that vampires and strength are above a super soldier in their strength. So this kind of adds up with Morbius being a vampire tier, fighting, consistently fighting people like Blade, Spider-Man. He has pretty decent maneuverability underwater. This is kind of like a speed and strength thing. He's fast enough to 
Tear your throat out too fast before you can react. Mobs and ninjas are not strong enough for Morbius. Speed blitzes this guy with a bad hand. Vades and man's attack so efficiently cause him to kill his own buddy. Take a lot of abuse like getting hit by Venom. When folks try to hit his body with baseball bats, that doesn't work. He can resist life draining touches, even though that's kind of hacksy and how do you resist something that's drained you? We already know he's fast enough to dodge bullets himself, but and by some miracle if you do hit him, that still isn't a guaranteed thing. Because he could just eat the bullet. Survives a blast from Nate Gray, a god tier of the universe, basically Cable. He's resisted to let Pussy before. He blocks axes with his arms where they don't penetrate his skin all the way. He can heal pretty good, even healing after major blood loss. He gets staked in the heart and he just continues fighting. Y'all remember that time he got shot by an adamantium bullet and he was still good afterwards thanks to his healing factor? He claims to die a lot. Like that's just a normal thing for him to die and then just resurrect thanks to his healing factor, I guess. They even go as far as saying one of the many deaths states he can hear air beyond the stone roof, can taste monsters in the air, can identify drugs. If you have serum in your blood, he can even figure out what the serum is by literally tasting it. Brooke can smell blood across the city. His hypnotism is technically just telepathy, but renamed hypnotism. Like he made Spider-Man do this for him. Compels Spider-X to fight Zaz. He has to have eye contact to do the victim hypnotism. But I think it's awesome he made a man stop hating him. The reason he can kind of drain you with a bite, like draining Nightmare. Doing this reverted lizard back to his Kurt Connor. Turns a werewolf by night back into a human by biting him. But of course, all of this could be just me. The Morbius movie, I enjoyed myself. I like the fighting speed. They portrayed him in a new movie and stuff of that sort. I would say check it out if you want to get a fun time it's not super deep lore heavy but it's a nice entertaining flick you should definitely check out but i also want to before i get going give a quick shout out to everybody that has taken the time to donate to the channel it helps out a lot believe it or not respect to michael morbius though dr michael morbius he's smart and he's ridiculously strong in that spider-man ranges but i will see y'all later